Hi Floss Tube, we're gonna try this for the third time, and if it doesn't work, no whip parade. My light's not working right for I had it perfect last time, but we'll just call that good. Uh no particular order except it's in my I left it. <laughs> my 31 bag. So I use that to store my things unless we need it for something else and then I'll take my things out and then put them back in and we're done. So we're gonna jump in. You're going to hear crinkle. You're going to hear zippers from project bags. It's the nature of the beast. So let's jump in. This one is Wherefore Art Thou by Mirabilia. Honora Corbett. Um, same designer. She has two different names. Mirabilias tend to be larger than Nora Corbett patterns. This is 32 count masquerade. So I started this at a retreat and I only got the upper little corner done. I'm not necessarily using the call for colors. Um, I'm using Carrie's Creation Cottons subbing out because that's what I have. So I also do not have a cover picture to show you. I'm sorry. This is the one that Nora did with the shop in Italy. And that's where I bought it from. Let me just turn that off. Um, I know it's available or it was available for purchase. I don't think it's out of print, but I don't have a cover photo to show you. It's the one, it looks like Juliet on the balcony and a uh, project bag I made myself. This one is Just Nan. Winter in the Forest. Um, it comes with some beads, so I will use those. On 40 count. This intimidated me because it was my first 40 count. Dapple. I picked this plus. Which is one reason I haven't gone back to it. But now that I'm more comfortable stitching on 40 count, I'll go back to it. So I have the house mostly done. There's some one over one on this thing. I honestly don't know if I'm going to do that on 40 count. It's some of the words, which I could probably sub back stitching for the words, and then some of the animals. So we shall see. Books. Of the Bible, my big toe designs. Here on thirty six count, thirty six count. I think this is vintage pecan butter by Lakeside Linen, which is a beautiful color. I love their linens to stitch on, they are beautiful fabrics to stitch on. Yes, Vintage Pecan Butter. I think what I'll do, I'm toying with the idea, one year for Mania, I did the piece One Nation by Bygone Stitches, and each day I did one state name. So I might do that. For this, I am not using the Called for Silks, or their Belle Soie. Instead, I'm using Planet Earth Silk, I'm using chive on earth silk. Uh, this one's tobacco. And this one is henna. So I am using those instead of the called for Belsoi. Doing this before dinner is done. And I've done this three times now. Feather Fairy Mirabilia. This is stitched on 32 count Joblin. Uh, fabrics by LJ, who is no longer dyeing fabrics anymore. Georgia Peach. So it's beautiful design. I have no plans on stitching on any of these right now this year. Because I've done, I've reserved, put some aside, as I did in that one video. Um, doesn't mean they won't call to me. And if they call to me, I'm just going with it. 
this one actually is not started. And it is Plum Street Sampler, I think. It's Betsy's Tart, I thought. Yeah, Betsy's Tart. 36 count fog. Picture this plus. Um, I have parts. I had two projects in this bag. Again, one I made myself. Um, and I just haven't put the parts from the second project away because that project is actually an FFO. It's up on my wall. Raven Queen, Mirabilia. I'm not stitching the ravens and I've decided not to do the background. Um, in her hand, here. I'm going to put a red apple because when I saw this design, the first thing I thought of is Once Upon a Time, Regina. And this is on 32 count Maelstrom, Chromatic Alchemy. This is part of the tower. I'm going to take that out. I stitched on this during my three hour diabetes test when I was pregnant with Mini Dot because I failed the one hour one. You think I took that Ooh. test enough times with 14 children, I should have passed with flying colors. <sighs> it was really a matter of minutes. The, this one is also not started. This is Celtic Bee, Textured Treasures. I saw this model at Galleria in 2019. It was beautiful. And I've chosen to stitch it on 32 count golden oak from Fiberlicious with the called for colors. It's mostly DMC, but there is a Petite Treasure Break. Although, maybe she called for Krennic and I switched it to Petite Treasure Break, because I prefer... On most projects, I prefer Petite Treasure Braid. And then this one is Mistletoe by Heartstring Samplery. I did start this one, but I did not like the fiber that I chose to stitch it in. It's not the called for. It was too thick on this. This is 36 count. This is my jam by Fiberlicious. Yummy fibers. So I pulled all that out and I am going to be restarting it at some point using a Silken Colors ink black. So I think that will look really, I think it'll be a good contrast. The other one I made myself. This one is not started. Heiress of Atlantis, Bella Filipina, Glastonbury Tour. And I plan on using the called for fibers, so I've got all the fibers. I tend to wait on getting the beads until I'm ready to bead or get pretty close to beading. Especially if I do any substitutions, although that one I don't intend to do any substitutions. Another one I made. This one. This is my memorial piece. Um, Amazing Grace. My big toe designs. This one's hard to stitch on. It just... 36 count flax. And I'm using pearl cotton. 310. And I'm not sure if this is dint. This is, we'll start going down. I can't remember. But um, the young man's favorite colors were black and red, which is why I chose black. And there will be a little green in the design. But to be honest, it's a very hard piece to stitch on. Another one I made myself. This one is uh, Fall Rose Celebration, sorry. Rose Celebration on 32 count Autumn Leaves, Hand Eye by Stephanie. And my needles want to work their way out of the fabric. So this is for my youngest daughter, and it'll get done. All these will get done someday, and I, 
think there's any of these I don't want to ever stitch on again. Um, no, I don't think that's true. This one is a Barbara Anna long lace she lays. This way. I started this on 36 count and I started by using two strands. I don't like using two strands on 36 count. I like using one strand. Except maybe like with the color black, 310 or white, I might use two, but so I might rip out what I have done and then restart it on the same fabric, which is 36 count flax. Um, I might restart it with one strand. I think I would enjoy it more. Bag I made. Bag I made. This fabric I found at a shop near the Raleigh Durham airport in North Carolina. And I went there with my husband a couple years ago, CR Marine. Uh, Renaissance Mermaid. I had her started and I was working on the tail and I got off, way off. I don't know what happened. So I took all that out and I restarted her starting at her hair. This is 32 count Aura. A-U-R-A -A, Fibrilicious. So there's a lot of her hair. Um... I stitched on this during my daughter's chemotherapy, which is probably one reason I got off on the count, stitch count. Another one I made. This one's an Erica Michaels. Grace and Blessings one. So there's three pieces. There's this piece, this piece on silk gauze, which I did not plan on doing, but now I'm more comfortable with silk guys, I probably will. This is the one I started. 34 count Devonshire cream. Devonshire cream. I'm not using necessarily using the call for colors, but they are cottons. So my Carrie's Creation cottons and maybe a gasp or two. Pulling from my own stash. This one is Plum Street Samplers. Soul Sisters. Again, I'm not use necessarily using the call for colors, but it is on 36 count flax, I believe. Which is kind of my go-to now. I'm pretty sure it is. And here's where I am. Yeah, it's 36 count because I'm stitching one strand over two threads. I like that on 36 count and up. 32 count and anything lower, I tend to stitch two over two unless the pattern says otherwise. This is Mirabilia Red. I've already stitched her in the red. And then I came across a blog by a lovely, lovely lady named Beverly who did a color conversion. She's done a color conversion to violet. She's done a color conversion to turquoise. And she did one to navy blues. So this is 32 count Zeus's Domain under the sea fabrics. Red, the original, maybe she's faced that way, didn't she? Which way she faced? Yeah, she faces this way. I had staples flip my pattern, so I made a copy and flipped it, and so the blue one's going to face this way. That's the master plan. A lot of these things, particularly the mirrors, I started in a crazy January challenge. I know some people love doing that kind of thing. That is not for me. Oh, this one is also will be a new start. It's Hello Moon by Rosewood Manor, and I saw this at Galleria. But I'm going to stitch it on 36 count where shadow used to fall by Fiberlicious. I will need to change. The blue should be fine in the white. There's a gray in here, and then there's a blue gray I'll probably have to change those colors my plan at some point is actually to take the fabric to Stitchville and see 
the colors. Or actually, I could look through my stash. Because some of them need more than one skein. This is another one I sewed for myself. Uh, Dear Daughter, Blackbird Designs. I have three daughters, so I'm going to have to stitch this three times. I started this for my oldest daughter. Her favorite color is blue. So, like, there's a lot of pinks in here. And I know the picture is never what the piece actually looks like. But I did pull some of the original colors, and they were too pinkish, so I changed them to blues. And again, uh... Some Carrie's creation. When I stitch this for my middle daughter, her favorite color is she likes purples and teals, and my youngest daughter likes pink, so I will stitch it in the original colors for my youngest daughter at some point. 36 count natural, and I just got started on the house, the roof of the house. And again, on 36 count, it's one over two, is how I prefer. Some people prefer 2 over 2 on 36, but I prefer 1 over 2. This one is a bag by Fiberlicious. I don't know if they have this particular bag anymore, but it's a nice size bag. This one is a lavender and lace Celtic Winter. There are technically five in the Celtic series, all, five, all four seasons plus a Christmas one. I've stitched all, all of them except this one. Celtic winter. And this is 32 count Stormy Night by Zweigart. It's one that's printed on one side but not on the other. And that's where I'm at. It was just hard to get into this one. I live in Minnesota. I started stitching this in January. Probably should stitch it like in July, you know, when I want to cool down. <laughs> but anyway. It is what it is. This one. Florentina. Another one of those January challenge pieces. 32 count Elphaba Lugana by Under the Sea Fabrics. I think it goes this way. Now I did add a line. The vertical top. Or vertical center and the horizontal center. This piece is cut a little off, and I really was worried that the stitch piece wouldn't fit, but it will. It'll work. But sometimes when you go down a pattern, just having that line to, to visually kind of double check yourself, it helps me. Particularly, I used to only have, you know, maybe three whips going at a time. Obviously, that's not the case anymore. Another one that I stitched for myself. These are the crinkle. Twelve Days of Christmas by uh, Cottage Garden Samplings. So Partridge in the Pear Tree. Two turtle doves. Sorry, three French hens, and I have one of the hens, just the head. This is 36 count flax or natural. Natural. And I want to stitch them all on the same base fabric. And a natural, I mean, I'll go with anything. Then we have four collie birds. I know in the US we usually say calling, but collie is more accurate. Five golden rings which I have with fabric kitted. Uh, six geese Elaine. I have stitched this one. Seven swans of swimming. I have this one finished. Eight maids of milking. And nine ladies dancing. I did not know that number 10, 11, and 12 were released. I, I don't know where I was when they were released, but I will add to my collection. I got away later. This one is on 32 count NYX by Under the Sea Fabrics. And 
six is NYX. 32 count, it's opal, it's got the sparkle. And it will be marigold by Nora Corbett. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the wings. I left the wings off of Iris and I thought she turned out really nice. So I might not stitch the wings. So I'll stitch her, you know, the gown. And then if I don't want the wings, I'm not gonna have them. Some of the design, some of the pixies, you want the wings. Uh, particularly the butterfly ones. Who's gonna get mad at you? This is a future start. Cirque de, Star Cirque de Coeur by Ink Circles on Rose Wine. And beads. I need like 19,500 beads. Whenever I go to order the beads, I have it narrowed down to two. Whenever I go to order them, they're out of stock. So it's a sign. <laughs> I'll hold off on that one. Not to mention, I have a lot of little hands who would help me, and I fling beads everywhere. So I don't need all those little hands helping me. Spring Queen, Mirabilia, January Challenge. 32 count antique white. I believe it's the Goner. And here is where I'm at. No, I'm sorry, it's Jobelin. That's where I'm at. Again, I only stitched on it for one day, and that's not for me. I, I mean, there's some, some I start, and it's like, I don't want to do this right now. But there's others, you know, I want to stitch on them for several days. Get into them a little bit. But if you like doing that kind of thing for yourself, go for it. Save the stitches, Elizabeth Allman. 36 count. Antique white Edinburgh linen, linen. And I got the top row outlined in a day. So if I'm going to fill in in a blue. So I should get that. These are all crinkle because they're all in bags by Ziploc, or this is by Hefty. This is Lady of the Flag. I have purchased her shortly after she came out originally. Here. Somebody posted a conversion to blues, which is the one I'm stitching. A 32 count We the People fabric. Fabulicious. So I haven't got very far yet. But Crazy January challenge. You get one day. Um, this one, garden party. Mirabilia. 32 count. Crystal Da Vinci by Picture This Plus. So it's got the sparkle and the pink dress. And yes, it does have the, it's not a metallic sparkle, um, iridescent. Oh, this is a kitted one, Nora Corbett. Miss Columbian Nymphalid. This is a dance of autumn leaves, which is just beautiful. When I got it in the mail from the Fabric of the Month Club, um, yeah, I immediately went to my patterns and said, I have to find this one. I have to kit it up. And this one, oh, this one's also kitted. I have some other oddball things in this basket too. This is 32 count Nyad under the sea fabrics. Oh, Ophelia's petal. The pinks and oranges I think will look great. It'll look great on there. And get this one started. Um January challenge again. Christmas in London. Mirabilia. 
This is an antique white crystal, uh, 32 count, and I didn't get very far. Again, with one day and some days I can get three hours of stitching, some days I get barely one. So, yeah. Flowers of the Holy Night by Clendon Place. I am using the called for silks on 32 count. Oops, that's not it. 32 count, I think it's an antique white. And is it? Or is it 36? I think it's 32. Joblin. 32 count Joblin antique white. One leaf. I have stitched the Grasshopper Pie Mandala, the dessert mandala from Glendon Place. I like their patterns. I also did a Bloom of Hope for my daughter and for my mom. This one is kitted, but not started. Alice, Garden of Dreams by Relicious, 32 count. See, this one I think needs background, but I'll decide when I start stitching on it. And that one is Lady Mirabilia, which I have not, I don't have fabric for it. And yeah, so this is part one of my whip parade. If it works, if it doesn't, I'm calling it. I am not going to show any that I showed for School of Magical Stitches. Um, <clears throat> I just had a reminder come up. And I do have another bin in there. I have decided to mothball four full coverage haids. They were the four that I had barely any started. And at this point in my life, I, I just can't do it. I can't set it up right and all of that. But I did keep White Dragon out. Um, I'll keep those patterns and restart them at some point in the future. That's my plan. Because they're beautiful patterns. So I don't know what I'm going to do my second. Hopefully this uploads and no technical blah, 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 blah. Something was wonky with the sound and then something was wonky with this and then it didn't want to upload. And I'm like, you know, and I uploaded my update video right before I did the, the whip video the first or the second time. But um, I have good stitching. I got to go feed the troops and is my sweatshirt hunt wife notice down at the bottom it says ultimate trophy yeah <laughs> my husband thought that was that was funny but i'll talk to you all later enjoy your stitching and i should say the date the date is january 17th 2021